In just 16 days, a big portion of Business 40 will close. The construction may make life a bit tense at times for drivers. And with tense comes impatience and maybe even road rage. WFMY News 2's Blanca Cobb is here. And Blanca, what is the best way for locals to deal with the highway closing? You plan ahead. <laughs> I mean, it, it really is that simple, but a lot of people won't do it. When you're in traffic, when you're in a hurry, what's going to happen? Your blood pressure is going to increase. You're going to get angry. But if you plan ahead and you go figure out what the route is, how long it's going to take, then give yourself ample time. So give yourself 30 minutes. Right. Then you're more than likely are going to have a level head and you're going to be cooler. It's like that saying, if you <laughs> fail to plan, you plan to fail, right? Exactly. <laughs> well said. Anyway. Well said. So what do you do when someone you're driving with, you're just in the passenger seat, you're, they're driving and you can sense that they are starting to get angry? Oh, well, if you're the passenger in the car or if you see another driver getting angry, you just need to keep, keep calm yourself, take a deep breath. Particularly with somebody else in another car, you don't want to engage with them. You don't want to look at them. You don't want to antagonize them because no matter what you do or say, it's going to be wrong because they're heated in that moment. And so what do you do if you see that driver, that angry driver, they actually get out of their car and start walking towards you? If you can move your car and leave, then that's what you want to do. But as I said earlier, if they come up to your car, you do not want to engage. Don't look at them. Don't talk to them. Because what's going to happen is, what, what can they do? They can start banging on the oh window. Gosh. I mean, there's all kinds of things. They can try your door. So definitely make sure that your doors are locked and that your windows are closed. And get any kind of information that you can about the driver, the make and model, the color of their car, any information that you can pass on to authorities. Yeah, definitely good to be a, a good witness. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, we were mentioning we watched that story and earlier. And apparently we all need help with that. <laughs> right. We want to pay more attention to things. Well, thank you so much, Blanca.